Next is question number 2.22. At 300 Kelvin, 36 grams of glucose present in a liter of its solution has an osmotic pressure of 4.98 bar. So, temperature is given to us, weight of glucose is given to us. So, when this much of glucose is dissolved in 1 liter of water, that much of osmotic pressure is produced which is 4.98. If the osmotic pressure of the solution is 1.52 bar, at the same temperature, what would be the concentration? Alright, so two conditions are given here. Let's see each condition. So, because osmotic pressure is asked, we are going to take the formula pi is equal to CRT. And when you say the concentration in this case, concentration your meaning is molarity. Alright, so here when you are writing it, you take the first condition. Alright, now when the first condition meaning osmotic pressure is 4.98 bar. Now for 4.98 bar, you need to find out what is the <coughs> molarity. So for that, when we write down what is the formula of molarity, molarity is equal to number of moles of solute by volume of solution in liters. Now solute here it is meant as glucose. Now number of moles of solute. Number of moles of solute is equal to given mass by molar mass. Given mass is already there for the solute which is 36 grams. Molar mass is what we have to find out. So we can write down molar mass of glucose. Glucose is C6H12O6. So that is 6 into atomic mass of carbon 12 plus 12 into atomic mass of hydrogen 1 plus 6 into atomic mass of oxygen 16. When we solve this you will get 180 gram per mole. Now, let's put it back in the equation here. Given mass is 30 grams, 36 divided by 180 which is the molar mass. When you solve this, you will get 0 0.2 moles as your answer. Now, we'll substitute this into the equation. Now, it says a liter of solution. So, that means volume of solution is 1 liter. So, in the first case, the molarity is going to be number of moles is 0 0.2 moles. Volume of solution is going to be in 1 liter as per the question mentioned. So, the molarity is going to be 0.2 mole per liter. That is the first condition. Let us consider the second condition. Now, second condition is what? In the second condition. Now, before moving to second condition, let us substitute this in the equation here. So, for the first condition, the osmotic pressure is 4.98 bar which is equal to concentration is 0 0.2 mole per liter that we just got. Constants are going to be R and T. So, this is going to be equation number 1. Let us move into second condition. Under second condition, the pi value is going to be here 1.52 bar. Now, for the same thing when you try to do here, in this case, you have, you can substitute the values. You have to find out the concentration in the second case. So, as per the question here, pi value is 1.52 bars, which is equal to C is what you have to find out over here. R and T are constant. This is equation number 2. So, because we have equation number 1 and 2, we are going to divide 2 by 1. Now, when you divide, this is going to be the second value. So, that is 4.98 by 1.52 which is equal to 0 0.2 into RT by CRT. These are dividing equation 1 and 2. RT and RT will get cancelled. When you try to solve this on the left hand side, you will get 0 0.3052 which is equal to 0 0.2 divided by C. Now C is equal to 0 0.2 divided by this which will give you 0.0610 since it's concentration term it's going to be mole per liter 
that is going to be the concentration during the second uh, osmotic pressure.